On the darker side of Belleville, there is a pie shop with a barber shop up above. And they say that terrible things go on there. So, hi, welcome back to Velville. I'm J Star, and today I am showing you my Sweeney Todd Mrs. Lovett's Pie Shop Mock Modular. Um, I created this all myself uh, from the few photos I could find online, but also just watching the movie uh, version of it and uh, stopping and <laughs> looking at every detail, trying to get it just right. Of course, it is an all-black building, so when you're building an all-black, as I do, black and white, um, specifically on this building, you really have to add a lot of texture to it to get it to, um, to look good. Some cool features of this build are the um, really slanted roof and that angular roof line. It just really is a striking building, so it was pretty fun to build, and then the interior is cool, too. So I really tried to get it as correct as I could. You can see that there's two ovens with the um, barrel in between. Now I changed one of those ovens to become the meat grinder. And I'll show you that as we go upstairs um, in the barber shop. Now there's Sweeney at his barber shop and I could find very few pictures, but again, trying to match that cool roof line with those windows was really a fun challenge. Now. The rest of the building outside, um, try to get those windows just right, add the brick detail sign. Inside, I was gonna make this wall, the um, the green wall, the patterned wall from Batman, but the green was just too bright. And then I found these um, tile pieces and I thought the olive green was really good. Olive is one of the few colors that are in the movie. Now, I did watch the movie, try to make everything right. These two bookcases, they exist in the movie on our shelves, except they're separated and there's a door into Mrs. Lovett's apartment there. But for the purposes of a 32 by 32 base plate, I just pushed them together and did not put in the door. Um, there's a little, um, one little banquette with the uh, table there and then the door to the back and uh, the meat grinder, of course, the star of the show. <laughs> Of course, outside, I always tile my sidewalks very fancily. The black and white stripes are a nod to Tim Burton, of course. Now, uh, there's the barber pole. Uh, on the back, I did cheat a little bit with the railing and made it very, very small. And it, you can see it sort of doesn't match up with the door. Um, but again, time or space limitations uh, being what they are, I had to fudge it a little bit. Now, the cool thing about this is I have a play feature and I can take off the front wall it just slides out and gives you access to the front of the pie shop where you can see mrs lovett with a rolling pin which is a candle piece and a uh, three by pin stuck into it and uh, there's little toby with his pie tasting it the meat grinder ominously in the corner and um it is modular it comes all apart in five different pieces so the meat grinder is made with the um, wheel piece and the Technics pinned uh, stud pieces and then sausages and some more wheel pieces stacked up to make the, 
a hopper where you put the body parts in and that connects to the trap door upstairs which is hidden when closed another key feature is of course the barber chair and i try to make it look angular but also decorative now in the movie they fudged a little bit and they have it it is angled so that it can like slide the minifig out um but the trap door is on the other side of the room and that's the only way you could make it work and that's the way they made it work in the movie as well um and then there's also the trunk where they uh hide um pirelli's body and just so you know a minifig will fit pirelli does fit inside it even with his big cape and once again, the meat grinder, you can see those stud pieces holding the thing. And those are all loose, um, so they kind of wiggle around, which is great. And then the other wheel stacked up. And then I've got these arms clipped in with those little robot arm pieces so they don't go anywhere. But that's the meat grinder build. And actually, this is inspired by a birthday cake that I had built um, using that same wheel piece. But I used candles instead of the uh, <laughs> wieners. And this is the first build that I've actually created minifigs for specifically um, to capture all the characters. Now, of course, Sweeney needs a customer, so I've got this kind of a rough-looking guy, and he's wearing a ghost cape as his um, barber cloth. And then there's Toby, who's got a little pie, just a simple little kid figure. And then we have Mrs. Lovett, um, played by Helena Bonham Carter, and that is the Bellatrix... Lestrange hair um, from Harry Potter, also Helena Bonham Carter, so I thought that was fun. For Sweeney, I added a little bit of white nail polish to his hair to give him that Sweeney swoosh. Of course, my favorite minifig is Pirelli with his hair and his mustache, and uh, he's such a cool character. He's got that beautiful blue and gold coat, um, which I found the piece to match, sort of, and I added the gold epaulette uh, piece to finish it off and he has the red cape and the white gloves so made sure he had those and his princess leia hair and the big mustache i just really think that really captures pirelli for all the signage i created on my computer and then printed out his photo so it has that glossy finish and then i cut them out or punched them out that's a one inch um hole punch to get those round signs and then on the doormats, I used that crossed bones uh, sticker piece that I found from some Lego set. So thank you very much for watching uh, my video on Mrs. Lovett's Pie Shop, my darker side of Belleville build. I'm trying to add more and more little um, musical theater references to my city for fun. Again, I thank you for hanging out with me and uh, I hope you like and subscribe and you can see more pictures of my builds on Instagram. I'm at legostar88 on Instagram, legostar88. Thank you very much. I'm Jstar and I will see you soon again in Belleville.